Ah, internal conflicts. The third disaster to start ticking after uh, peasants were in plutocratic coup. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in U4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with the nation of Butuan. Butuan is a nation located in Southeast Asia, this one province minor right here. And I hear you asking, but Hawk, didn't you play these guys last week? No, that was Butua. These guys have an N at the end of their name. Either way, like I said, Butuan is located in Southeast Asia. We're a Hindu nation with Chinese tech and our our national ideas focus primarily on trade, naval, and diplomacy stuff. And I think I'm literally the first person in the history of U4 that is gonna play this nation. But what do we do as Butuan? Well, since these guys only differ from these guys by one letter in their name, among other things, literally they can't be more different. <laughs> Why not try and conquer the province of Butua and the nation that we played as last week as the nation of Butuan? Yes, I know it's gonna be annoying. It's literally halfway around the world. Why do I set these goals for myself? Why couldn't we just conquer Taiwan? Why didn't I think of that before? Well, that might be a bit too boring. So yeah, that's the goal for this campaign. It's uh, definitely gonna be uh, painful. And before we begin, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more A to Z videos like this or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Let's jump in as Butuan. All right, all right, here we are as Butuan. Let's take a look at our situation. We're an Eastern plutocracy, basically a merchant nation, and we can even take enforced trader privileges instead of strengthen. I know, scary. We're also a Hindu nation. I will need to convert this province as and select a deity. I think I am going to go with this one right here for trade efficiency and tax. So that's pretty good we're making money why did that increase when i have uh, bumped it up either way uh do we need to ally any of these guys i know some of them are ming tributaries so that's gonna be a uh, tough to say the least let me send this one guy to collect from malacca this other guy can uh, transfer from canton over here and uh let me do some uh let me do some estate stuff all right estate stuff pretty much done i guess uh we can start off by spying on these guys right here maybe these guys right here too i don't think i'm gonna ally anyone we don't really need alliances maybe unless we're fighting these guys down here but listen that's in the future. Let's take a look at our army right here. Ah, of course. We always start off with a horse. Listen, they're too expensive, boys. They're too expensive from the start, man. What else do you want me to say? Uh, and uh, yeah, let me start converting this. Should I set some rivals? Yeah, I'll rival everyone. That rivaled me. And, uh... We'll start conquering. We will need to open up with exploration expansion here. I don't know how we're gonna get to Africa, man. Why was this the goal? Who says these things? Oh, wait. It's me. Look at all that money we're making uh, just from giving this out. All right, I finished spying on my two adversaries right here. Let's take a look at these guys. They're allied to Tidori, so that shouldn't be uh, too difficult of a war, but they are pretty, well, they're my size. So I will need to buff up significantly here with the free company. And we're going to put a ruler in charge, and I am going to get another general as well. Ah, awesome. Trade leagues over here too. Like, it wasn't enough in Italy, man. Come on. I mean, if I full occupy them, they'll just unconditionally surrender so uh let's go for it why not and that's that even though we have only 17 percent war score i think all we have to do now is just stand on them i'm losing a lot of money like this man i'm losing a lot of money and their army is so much bigger than mine i can't afford to fire the free company luckily i can take 222 loans <laughs> but they're just three ducats man they're just three ducats aha tech Ah, a wonderful event that I did not know about. It seems that nature has punished us. Oh my god, that sucks, dude. Look at this event, man. Jesus. You know, we actually own a pretty nice province here, man. It, uh, it has a center of trade and it produces gems. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, five years have passed since I fully occupied them and they did just unconditionally surrender. So let's full annex them and take all their money. That's uh, such a difficult war for... for oh, do we have unique missions? Oh, we, we actually have a lot. They're all unique, dude. Nice. Ah. Okay, that's a bit better. <laughs> I mean, listen, we can't just colonize, right, boys? We gotta do something else while we're here, man. So that's why we're conquering these guys. You know, some of you may think, fuck, why don't you just chill in your tiny little province over here and just colonize and be peaceful? But no, that would be boring. How am I gonna make that an interesting video? Hey, at least we're not losing money now, right? Now, the thing about all of these guys over here is that they all have massive amounts of ships. And I will need to build up my navy significantly if I want to establish dominance. It's gonna be pretty much impossible fighting two or 
three of them at the same time because there's no way my one navy will beat their combined navy. So I'm basically stuck here and I won't be able to cross. Ah, uh, I guess we'll see what we can do. At least my loans are quite a bit bigger now, so we can take burger loans again since I apparently paid them off. And uh, with this, I think I'll actually build some boats instead of paying off old loans. So there we go. Let's get some galleys going. And I guess, you know, I will pay off some old loans. I'm nice like that. And you know, since all of this is animist land, this religious uh, disunity is gonna kill us, bro. I invited two boys to my trade league here, uh, Sulu and Manila. Uh, we're not really allied, but I will have to defend them. <laughs> I mean, let's make some money, maybe. Let's sell titles and, uh... Right, let's just sell titles, apparently. Well, I did pay off almost all my loans with that, except the latest ones. Uh, let's build some more... Uh... It is time for a tier 2 government reform, and we're of course not going to be taking strength and noble privileges. That's right, because we are going to be taking enforced trader privileges. Unusual, I know, but you gotta do what you gotta do. We're an eastern plutocracy, come on. Not again, what is this man? What is this event, dude? Like, Jesus. I don't know, should we start spawning the renaissance? I feel like we should. Let's activate encourage development here. And I can't give out tropical city planning because I have uh, burger loans. So, uh, you know, let's just start spawning it, man. Let's just start spawning it. I know I could upgrade the center of trade too and uh, various other things, but it's just not something I can do. And of course, all of these boys in the meantime have built up a level three Sports. Come on, man. It's only been like 15 years and already so much pain and suffering. Is this the hardest campaign I've done so far? No, of course not. That was below zero. But let's be real here. This is pretty annoying. I wanted to ally these uh, purple guys, but I accidentally allied these guys. <laughs> you know, these are just some of the things that happen to a seasoned EU4 players such as myself. All right, finally, man, let's declare another war. Let's declare on Madias right here, calling my two boys. Declare for whatever. We're going to have to take down a level three fort. Pain, I know. Will our navy be enough? I have no idea but please, I need help. Uh, I don't know, do you guys enjoy seeing me suffer? Because <laughs> I, I don't enjoy suffering. <laughs> While I spawn the renaissance, at least. Remember, boys, high inflation good. Okay, so I want to go from here to there. I have like six uh, uncolonized provinces in between. How many times do you guys think I'll fight uh, natives? Well, that's one right there. Let's see. Two, okay, two, not bad. Two out of six, not bad. Let's embrace this. The reason I wanted to get to here is because I'm going to declare on these green guys too without having to fight my boys, Tondo. So let's declare for that and let's uh, beat up these guys here. Okay, so I'll actually white piece these guys here so I can declare on them later and also fight these guys, which are their ally, without having to fight Ming, which is their overlord. I know, EU4 and diplomatic relations. It gets complicated. All right, just took tech five. Time for our first idea group, which is of course going to be exploration. Are we focusing on dip? No, but now we are. My allies literally didn't do anything well actually these guys did manage to white piece these guys so uh yeah all right one war is over so let's take these three provinces nice let's go beat up the green guys no i i would not like to do that ah as soon as I siege down their level 3 fort, my previous allies joined in. At least I won't have to do another war versus them, but I don't have any manpower. <laughs> uh, now what? Ah, of course, now more natives. At least these guys have a level 1 fort only. Do you guys remember in the Brunei video or whatever where I said I strongly dislike playing in Southeast Asia? And I hear yourself asking, Hawk, is that still your opinion? Yes, yes, that's still my opinion, yes. Thanks for asking. <laughs> hey now, oh my god, finally something to signify that we will have at least a little bit of luck this campaign i did reject two previous events like this i got like a zero three two guy and then like a three one one guy but uh i like this i like this a lot i think this is the first time we've gotten a six 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 on uh a to z so uh there you go there's a first time for everything how am i gonna beat these guys okay well the war is at least done i did recruit a free company over here to help me beat up the rebels so let's take everything from these guys uh that i just fought and uh we've consolidated the philippines well almost i still have these guys left somehow wait faceting but i already have gems down here right i thought faceting can oh was this a glass province is that where it spawned no but wait what Nice, man. Zero manpower and the free company has 300 dudes in it. <laughs> We're gonna have to chill big time after this, boys. We're gonna have to get to colonizing. Okay, it's over. It's over. Let me just delete 99 forts that uh, I've uh, conquered over here. Hey, we got a colonist. I am gonna take this so I can't be bothered with uh, colonization. And what's the furthest region we can colonize? Let's see here. It's an economic, colonial, and as far as we can get is right here. I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm 
I'm just gonna colonize some province in between my provinces so I can literally just walk around without fighting natives. What's a good one? This is a pretty good one, I guess. And I am gonna give the burgers uh, New World Charters. All right, finally, big burger loans time. 308 ducats, baby. You know what it is. Let's start constructing some buildings, huh? I mean, we might as well get this, right? You see my 6.2k army right here with uh, almost no manpower? Yeah. And you see these 10k rebels here? Yeah. You're gonna see these 7k uh, uh, too. And I can't even get the free company because I fired them. Ah, uh, right. I can't even fight these guys because they have a level 3 fort. I don't have the people to do it. <laughs> Tier 3 governor form time. Let's go for centralized. All right, I just took the third idea and our colonial range increased by 50%. So, uh, wait a minute. Why am I not exploring? Dude, I should start exploring. <laughs> All right, there we go. Take this guy, get an explorer. Tell him to, no, not protect trade. Explore, uh, wh what's right here? What's right here? Now, I don't know how I discovered this. Maybe I could already see it from the start, but let's go to the um Eastern Indian Ocean coast. All right, I admit it. Maybe it was a mistake going for enforced trader privileges. Maybe it was. Oh, when will it end? Either way, I think I finally got the people to fight these purple guys, so let's declare on them. A conquest, confirm, yes, yes, level 3 fort, yes. And that's an unconditional surrender from them, so let's take that. They have a pretty nice province, a center of trade as well. It produces China ware, so that's nice. Another mission we can take. These are all pretty much small missions, which give the same thing, morale and morale. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's fight these uh, rebels. And now we've officially completed the conquest of the Philippines. Wonderful. All right, so now is the time for relaxation, and uh, we're pushing towards Tech 7 so we can get expansion as well and i can start pushing this way too while also colonizing in our vicinity the way i see it we're gonna have to hop these islands here and there's an island right here which gives us a border with madagascar so then we're gonna have to enter madagascar fight these guys conquer our province on this coast so we can then spy on well i'm guessing this is kilwa so we can fight kilwa uh not gonna be very easy boys not gonna be very easy at all we did just finish colonizing that province of course that didn't extend our colonial range but the idea should have once again the furthest we can go is somewhere over here so i'm not even gonna bother instead i'm just gonna go colonize this right here so we can fight ternati and tidori for those uh nice clothes well i just fought five rebel stacks this is the sixth one looks like no conquering these guys just yet <laughs> we're low on member once again you know what i think i'm just gonna run the free company as the main and then downsize the actual army all right let's fight these guys here since their ally luo here won't join hey admin tech 7 let's go expansion oh i'm also gonna take this that was the dumbest thing I've ever done. There's literally only like five marsh provinces in the world and my capital is in them. <laughs> I thought it was coastline, to be honest. I don't even see another marsh province on the map, dude. Oh, of course. Well, I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll have some good battles over here in, uh, this one. Ah, yes, of course, the most in-depth event in the game. Press left mouse button to continue. Okay, what if I press my right one? I guess that doesn't do anything. Okay, let's full annex these boys right here. Go fight some rebels before we come back and finish off the other boys. Wait, is this the return of the disasters? The peasants war? How can I stop it? I guess I can't. This stab cost is insane, dude. All right, I beat up the rebels. I even stabbed up as expensive as it was. Let's declare on these guys right here. Ah. Third Cloves Province. Dude, I keep forgetting that these guys colonize, man. I, I, these guys actually have two provinces, which is uh, pretty sweet. Can I just steal this colony from them? I think I can. All right, nice. Let's full annex them. Or not. Or not. Or we could abandon it. Another colony has been completed. Let's take a look at our new colonial range, which I think has extended by a little bit. I'm not sure. We definitely need to start moving this way. So uh, I think this is probably the furthest province. So let's go there. Oh wait, maybe I need to wait for a month to tick, which I did just wait. Uh, let's see. No, Colonial Range is the same. So yeah, let's go to Lombok. All right, Diplotech 7. We're about to see some real Colonial Range. I also got the second colonist from Expansion over here. So let's take a look at our current Colonial Range. And it actually did extend by quite a lot, boys. So let's send that uh, second guy here. And instead, we'll recall this guy from here and just, uh, you know, continue colonizing the Philippines. All right, so this is the actual furthest province. As we can see, I discovered a new island here and uh we can't reach that so it's gonna be here 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 and then madagascar and then kilwa or we could even alternatively jump to this island right here and declare directly on kilwa we'll see they look pretty powerful though again this fire event have you guys heard of butuan how about butuan maybe butuan by the way i'm not conquering anything boys because i just want to speed through these ideas man the real conquest begins in africa we don't really care about these guys here do we speaking of uh real ideas i don't know <laughs> Merchant, behold, the dumbest merchant setup in the world. 
<laughs> there's really no other way to put these guys, man. Uh, there's only one entry node in the Philippines. It's Canton. I might as well collect from the other ones over here. Yeah, I know it's dumb, but in reality, we should be conquering this way and moving our trade node to the Malaccas and then to Malacca. But listen. I can't be bothered. Let's instead meritocratic recruitment. How does that make sense? I don't know. Another disaster taking plutocratic coup. Oh, <laughs> uh, alrighty then. I guess that's what you get when you enforce trader privileges. And both of my colonies actually finished at the same time. Let's check out our new colonial range and we can actually even go here, which is awesome. So we'll definitely go to Ilda Bourbon here. Uh, and once we colonize this, we'll be entering Madagascar. Meanwhile, I can start spying on them as well. Maybe bets right, right. Well, maybe end tomorrow. So I just realized that these guys over here, they suck. They're technologically inferior to me. Sakalava here has six gay troops. And tomorrow has two. Bruh, we're gonna have Madagascar in no time. It's a different story with Kilwa. Says they're gonna be uh, a bit more powerful, but wait, no, they're backwards too. They have a small army too. Is this gonna be the easiest goal in the history of A to Z? Of course not. If something can go wrong, it will. All right, all right. Spy networks have been built up on Sakalava and Antamoro, and I am in the process of transporting my armies to Il de Bourbon right here, and soon we shall begin our conquests on Madagascar. Okay, well, my armies have arrived here. Let's wait for these guys to, you know, build up their ships a little bit, and we'll declare, baby. It just is what it is. Something else I think I'm gonna do is after I finish colonizing Il de Bourbon right here, I'm actually gonna establish a colony here so we can attack Kilwa from the coast without doing a landing like we're about to do on Madagascar. Wait, doesn't that mean we don't have to fight these guys? Yes, it does, but I'll fight them anyway. <laughs> and let's get ready to rumble. Let's declare on Sakalava right here, co-belligerent and Demoro, and declare the conquest of Long Name Province. You know, last game we had like six uh, forts on Madagascar. Right now I can see, uh, well, four. Not as bad, but uh, there's still one level three one. And there we go, I just got a third colonist. I wonder if I can send him here. No, so we'll just uh, tell this guy to colonize in the Philippines as well. Of course, I can't core any of these provinces because <laughs> this colony isn't done yet. <laughs> well, it seems that Kilwa is not having a good time versus Mutapa. So Mutapa still exists. That's a good thing to know. Hey, we just got the 666 guy on the throne. Wonderful. I probably should have abdicated. I... I forgot we had him, honestly. <laughs> let's get uh let's get this one actually. And the island of Bourbon has finished colonizing. I hope we get to make some bourbon. I'm a fan of four roses myself. But let's see what we can take from these guys. Can we actually full annex the entirety of Madag? We can't. We can't do that. Um, so let's do something like this. Awesome. And let's send that colonist right here so we can attack Kilwa from the land. You know, I feel like this is the thing I do most often since 133 dropped, bro. It's like just deleting forts and deleting forts and deleting forts. Damn, this guy is sure doing a good job. <laughs> so are these three. <laughs> I'm not doing anything with trade, bro. I wonder if we should uh, culture shift to uh, whatever culture is here, like Nyasa or Nguini, and form the Rosewe Empire as not Butua but Butuan. And actually, Kilwa did lose to Mutapa, so we might not have to fight Kilwa at all. Instead, we're gonna fight Mutapa. Let's discover them by clicking right there. There we go. And they're not allied to anyone. They're tech 9, which I am tech 10. Honestly, we could just start fighting them right now, bro. You know, at least I got some uh, insane admirals. <laughs> Dude, I got a general and his name is literally Killing. <laughs> Dude, where is he? Oh, there he is right there. Well, too bad. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do some killing because, listen, you're not good enough, bro. Now, this can't be right. It says I got too many military... Oh, oh, okay. I get it. I get it. But you know, boys, here we are, man. We're in the province of Inhambane, and it's time to declare on Mutapa and almost finish our goal. I think uh, Butwa is, like, right there. So let's declare for Sofala. They are like the Luba, nations that I fought last week as well. And let's do it. Wait, no. No, I'm... I'm not supposed to be losing. What? What's going on here? You know, desperate times call for desperate measures. I got two free companies. <laughs> Where did they pull this army out of? Man, they got them. They got mercs too. They murked up, baby. They murked up. I murked up too. I'm way over force limit. And while we're crushing the Mutapans in Southern Africa, we can also upgrade our government rank. We're a barangay? What's this? I've never seen this, dude. Either way, let's become a kingdom. Grand barangay. Ah. And just like that, we have defeated the mighty Mutapa. Now, remember how I said uh, I wanted to culture shift to, uh, well, Shona, apparently, and form the Razwi Empire just like last week? Well, to form Razwi, we actually need to own uh, these three areas. Areas, I think so Butua, Lower Zambezi and Zimbabwe and uh, guess how many provinces I can take there we go nice all right oh 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 
Oh, there's no way to take all of them. But let's peace out. You know what? I think we're gonna have to truce break them. Of course, as soon as I uh, finish coring these. You know what? I don't know if we have time for that, bro. Let's declare on Zimbabwe. Conquest Zimbabwe. Truce break. Boom. There we go. Ah, uh, yes. Army maintenance was down. But listen, I couldn't care about that, really. All right, let's get to it right here, boys. Artillery barrage. You know what it is. Ah, internal conflicts. The third disaster to start ticking after uh, peasants were in plutocratic coup. Wait, no, I just remember. I think we need... I think we need these three as well, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sort of going in blind here, boys. I uh, I don't know the requirements to form Razwi. I forgot them. And uh, yeah, I think we're just going to have to hope that uh, these provinces right here that I'm going to take right now are the requirements. Uh, let's see. Let's see. All right, well, this is going to fire for sure. Less religious unity than 100%. Yeah. And the 666 guy died. <laughs> Lost another stab. It's just so expensive to stab up. But there you go, I think we cored up everything. All right, let's try and culture shift to Shona. So we do need to stay at um, these um, three areas right here. There we go, we'll uh, full core as much as we can. And then we need to destate everything that we own over here, basically flip away from Filipino. So let's uh, unstate all of these right here. And then we should have uh, more development in our Shona provinces than our Filipino provinces. Let's check right here. There we go, we can promote Shona and culture shift to Shona. That decision should show up now uh no it, it doesn't maybe i need to wait for it to refresh no it's it's still not there i i guess that's i guess that's not how it works i it seems that my second goal was a failure what what <laughs> where are they <laughs> where are they <laughs> what's going on here dude i've never seen this dude but either way, ladies and gentlemen, in case you hadn't noticed, we did actually conquer the province of Butwa in our first war versus Mutapa, and with that, we did accomplish our goal of conquering the province of Butwa as the nation of Butuan, a nation which we played last week. But yeah, man, we started off as the tiny nation of Butuan right here. I think I'm probably the first person in the history of U4 to play as this nation. Of course, that's a joke. That can't be actually possible. And we conquered almost the entirety of the Philippines. It was super, super tedious man like i said i really dislike island hopping down here in southeast asia these alliances were so crazy we didn't go with strength and noble privileges so no manpower for that we didn't go with quantity either so no manpower buffs at all the only manpower buff what we got was increased levies right here and that's not a whole lot but we did fight these guys here man and we did win we did colonize over here a little bit got a little bit of the spy silence and then started moving our way halfway across the world to madagascar either way we hopped on some islands hopped to the isle of bourbon right here conquered madagascar hello separatists who's this sakalavan shout out to sakalava and then we actually thought we needed to fight kilwa and we colonized the province over here but kilwa lost the war versus mutapa and then we fought mutapa which was actually a pretty hard war i did get defeated in battles a couple of times but i murked up quite a lot as you can see we're losing 25 ducats a month right now oh my god here's a little bankruptcy for you boys just to get back to the traditions you know we were close to three disasters firing almost taking us back to our roots but i did manage to stop all three of them since you guys you know you've said you like more serious gameplay so i am trying to you know seriously prevent us from going bankrupt and getting into disasters but in that first war versus mutapa we did take the province of butua bruce broke mutapa and took the rest of the provinces which i thought we needed to form the nation of razwi but it seems that unless you're butua you can't actually form razwi and butua not butuan is the only nation that can form razwi but either way i'm happy to say that this campaign as butuan in a to z has been a success and that has been boot one in a to z let me know in the comments below what i should do with byzantium next time the final nation in b if you want to watch me do stuff like this live you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the red hawk live and if you want to catch up on stuff from over there you can subscribe to the second channel link is in the description if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you want to see more a to z videos like this or more u4 videos in general definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything and you can become a member today and join the discord the link is in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time with another eu4 video